Welcome to Let's Cook at Home with your optopitual artist, Lyric Jones. Today, we're going to jump right on it. I'm hungry and I really want to try this one out. So today, we got a new appliance. And this one is the Eco Home Professional Waffle Maker. I have never been good at making waffles. <laughs> and I'm going to blame it on the waffle irons. Okay, that's what I'm going to blame it on. So, I'm hoping that I will have better success with this waffle iron. Okay, now I think I've only made waffles maybe a couple times in my life. And a couple times, like I said, they did not come out well. So, I just abandoned waffles and I stick to pancakes. I'm great at pancakes. And waffles, I just go out, if I have a taste of waffles, I would go to the Waffle House or whatever. But anyway, this is our new product for uh, Let's Cook at Home. So now we have a waffle maker. Alright, so we're going to do this um, like I'm going to do all the other open boxes. We're going to do it from beginning to end. So we're going to open it, look at it, and then use it. So today I'm going to make my, um, my Sunday waffles. This is how I make pancakes as well. I like everything on it as if you would make a sundae uh, minus the ice cream. Okay? So, let's get started and let's open her up. Okay. why is because the waffle maker that I had before the grapes didn't come out and it was hard to wash it so this one I specifically bought because I wanted the grapes to pop out so I could wash them easily okay so I'm gonna leave that out and this one is an easy push button very nice very nice Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, let's see it, look at it. Um, I guess maybe I should have read something about it. Usually they always come with instructions I don't read anyway. But because they didn't send me any, now I want to look at them. Hold on. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Alright, let's see what it says. Alright, let's see what it says here. I'm going to drop these over in the sink water and wash those. Oh, let's see if there's anything important I need to know. I debated with this one because there was another one I was going to get and it had a stand and you flip you could flip it turn it over but I like this one I'm gonna tell you the main selling point other than the grace popping out was that you could store it standing up when I seen the picture of it on Amazon of it standing up in the corner of the cabinet I thought <gasps> What a great space saver! I'm going to get that one. And that was what changed my mind. Because I was going to get the round one that turned over. And I had a couple of them in my cart debating which one. But when I seen this one stands up for good storage and the grape popped out, I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. So, 
I thought that was a it was a good selling point for me. Um, okay. All right, I'm figuring it out now. All right, so it locks, but you just push it up from the bottom to unlock it, and it'll open right up. See, sometimes when you overthink, you make things harder than what they really are, okay? I was here about to fight with this thing. It's simple, and I have to remind myself that. Sometimes when you're very intelligent, you can overthink the most simple of things. So anyway... Let me see if there's anything in here I need to know. Oh, uh, we're going to plug it in. And we're going to scrape it. Okay, I don't see anything that's jumping out at me. And how to wash it. It's got the picture, the, di the diagram of it standing up. I told you, that was a selling point for me. It really was. All right, that's all I see. I, I, I'll just put this in the, in the bag with the rest of the of the uh, instructions. But even though <laughs> what's so silly now that I think about it is that I really bought it to stand up. I'm probably still going to put it back in the box and up under the table. That's where I put a lot of my uh, electric appliances because I don't have any more room for electric appliances over in that corner. I could, but I don't know. Let's see how well. Let's see how well the waffles come out. If, if I mess up these waffles, I'm telling you right now, I'm sending it back to the store, and I'm going to give up on waffles, and I just have to eat waffles at a restaurant. All right? So let me go. Oh, i tell you what's going on. Let me do this part, too. So I have my waffle mix. Now, this is a different mix. I've never used this before. Um... Again, because I typically make pancakes. So this is Kodak Cakes. It's protein packed, 100% whole grain, uh, 14 grams of protein. And it says it's just to add water. It's buttermilk flavor, but you add water. Um, I'm going to add water to it, but I'm also going to add ricotta cheese to it. I've seen a video on the Food Network, I think it was Jonna. I don't know the name of Jonna, the title of her show, but Jonna made Italian pancakes and she added ricotta cheese to the mix. And this is what I always add to my pancake mix. And it just gives the pancakes a taste that you just don't expect. <laughs> it's so good. And so for me, I don't eat pancakes out. If I go out, I never order pancakes because I'm so used to this flavor um, that any other pancake to me is just, you know, they're either too dry. Typically with me, with pancakes at a restaurant, they're too dry, and I don't like it. Uh, and you got to drown them in syrup, but they still have this dry taste to it. I like crunchy edges around my pancakes. I like my pancakes a certain way. So... Uh, but she has turned me on to the ricotta cheese, and it is the best thing. So, I'm going to wash those grates off, mix my batter. I'm going to add my ricotta cheese to the batter, and I'm also going to add some um, hemp seeds. Uh, these are the hearts. they already been shelled. So, I'm going to add those to it, and... That's it. The rest of it is just ingredients and we'll do, you know, toppings. So we'll do those things after that. And I'm going to make mimosas today. I'm feeling like a celebration this morning. This is my self-care day, okay? And it really is morning when I'm doing this. It really is. It's not even, I don't have my, it's just now 10 o'clock, okay? So I, I, this is a legit first time in the morning for breakfast video that I made fresh for you. <laughs> but I just felt like having mimosas today. At first I was going to make coffee. And I'm like, no. No. This is self-care day. I'm going to sit in my massage chair. I'm going to do my nails. I'm going to do my feet. I'm going to wash my hair. Give myself a facial. But I'm going to start it off 
with a mimosa and well i'll probably i'll probably end up doing this whole bottle before the day is out i'll probably be making mimosas because once champagne goes flat it's no good anymore so i'll probably be, this will be my drink of the day i'll be making mimosas and i'm going to start out with my with my waffle pancake I mean, with my waffles hopefully all right so i will be right back and put the grapes back in. I wanted to make sure that they were dry enough. I don't want to mess around and get electrocuted. Okay, they look like they're dry enough. So let's pop Very easy, very easy. So far, everything is simple. just okay so it has to be preheated until the green light comes on then I pour my batter in I was looking to see if I needed to spray it, I, I, it doesn't say that I have to, but I think I am anyway. When the light turns green again, the waffles are ready. Open and carefully take out the waffles. I bought this spatula too to pull the waffles out with. Okay, let's give it a test. Let's see what we do. So it's, it's preheating. The green light isn't on yet. So let's go ahead and pour some mimosa while that's doing what it needs to do. Preheating, it smells weird. What are we celebrating, y'all? Huh? What are we celebrating? Celebrating me. <laughs> How about that? I hope you celebrate you. Pour you a drink too and have mimosas with me or whatever it is you drink this morning. Maybe you'll be drinking coffee. I don't want to pop myself in the eye. bubbles. I need them to tickle my nose. Oh, it's good. It's good plain. I like my mimosas with pineapple juice instead of orange juice. I know. I never do everything, anything like 
the way they say you should do it. Ah, life is no fun that way. I like to mix it up, okay? And I'm not doing it on purpose like I'm intentionally trying to be different. I'm not. I just, I just like what I like, okay? I do. This is really good. Oh, that's good. But, looks like we need more champagne. How about that? The bubbles fool you. Not green yet. All right. Let's add our pineapple juice. Woo! All right. Give me a straw. it might spill over when you close it. Yeah, I see it coming out the side. Is it coming out over there? Yeah, it's coming out over here too. See, this is why I don't fool around with waffles. They're so messy. But they taste great, don't they? <laughs> Nothing like a waffle. Okay, now it says when the light turns green again, it means that the waffle is done. So let me get my plate out. Alright, give me a fork. smell good. Mm. 
They do. They smell really good. I don't know. Did I all show you? Did I show you the box? Hold on. Let me get the box. I didn't show you the box. I think I'm going to try to remember to put links to um, the waffle maker and the, the waffle pancake. I keep wanting to say pancake. The waffle mix. I'm not going to swear that I'm going to do it because I'm not that savvy when it comes to adding links to YouTube. I can do it on Facebook. You know what? If I can't get them, if I can't figure out how to do it on YouTube, if you go over to my Let's Cook at Home page on Facebook, I definitely can post them there. I'm good at posting links there. So, I will put a link to the waffle iron and the mix. Oh no, I feel like I want to take these out. But it, the light's not green yet. I have no patience. And this is probably why my waffles <laughs> was looking bad before because I don't know. I'm scared I'm burning it. Look at all the smoke. It doesn't smell burnt. here. Yeah. Kodak Cakes has got the uh, the bear on the box. Um, I wanted to see if they were a non-GMO. I don't think they are. I think they were just a, a healthier pancake. I can't remember what I put in because sometimes I put in non-GMO to see what products that come up. Sometimes I put organic to see what products that come up. Um, sometimes I just put in healthy just to see. And, and this, this came up. Um, matter of fact, I think I got those from Walmart. I got those from Walmart. I ordered that from Walmart. Um, if you've seen the, the other video I had posted on my Facebook page when my order came from Walmart, it was all damaged. So they replaced everything that was damaged. And... Um, that was one of the boxes that got damaged. So this is the new box. It's still three to five minutes. <laughs> it hasn't been three to five minutes yet. You know what? Let me let me drink something. Let me drink something and stop staring at it. When I tell you watch pots never boil. <laughs> but I keep eyeballing it because I don't want to burn it. I just feel like I'm gonna burn it up. with it 
because I didn't spray the top, the top grade. I only sprayed the bottom. Why y'all didn't tell me? Uh, hold on. It's a nice color. It's very pretty. I don't know if this was any good or not, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I end up using a fork. I don't know if this was worth seven dollars. Hold on. It's super hot. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm telling you. Get you some ricotta cheese. All right, now that's the ricotta cheese from the grocery store. All right, now if you live in Cincinnati, if you're one of my Cincinnati viewers, go to Finley Market and get you some fresh uh, ricotta cheese. That ricotta cheese tastes completely different from the ricotta cheese that you buy at the grocery store. Okay, we ain't gonna hate on the ricotta cheese from the grocery store in the container. We ain't gonna hate on it. It's good. But if you go to Finley Market, now I'm not in Cincinnati, so I don't know if if Finley Market is even still open with the whole coronavirus thing. I don't know if it's still open. But if it is, go to the market and get you some ricotta cheese. It'll be if you again, I haven't been in Cincinnati in four years. Okay, so I'm only telling you from the last time I was at Finley Market, there's the spice shop. So when you come in the door, um, what's the street? Finley. When you come in, no, Finley is on the other side. Whatever. When you come in and there's the spice, the spice rack, the spice shop right at the corner. Okay, so you know where they have the bands and everything outside. And you come in, there's the spice shop. Okay, but right across from them is the deli. They sell cheese and lunch meat and fresh bacon and but that's where you get your ricotta cheese at. Whatever that rack that that store is right there across from the spice people. You, the people that live in Cincinnati know what I'm talking about. Okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I the, the spice people, they got all the spices that's where I used to get my spices, and then right directly across from them were the people that sold breakfast stuff and lunch meat, okay? But they sell ricotta cheese. They sell honey, they sell eggs, but they sell the ricotta cheese fresh, and it is so good. It's so good that you probably will never buy this again at the grocery store, ever. If I was in Cincinnati, I would buy it from Family Market, but anyway, I digress. This was good. This is good. But you know what? Because we testing it, we about to do it again. Alright? We about to do it again. We're going to do it again. And while, while we're doing it, we're going to dress this, this, this waffle up. But we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again and spray the top grate and the bottom grate. Okay? You see me do it this time. Okay? Because y'all was dead wrong for not reminding me last time. <laughs> I got just enough, I think, for one more batch. I made just enough. And you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I mean, this permit to mess this up. I didn't let it preheat until it turned green. I swear to God, I just, oh, me and waffles. Me and waffles. Well, we're just going to let it ride anyway. Forget it. This, it is what it is at this point, okay? I didn't let it preheat. And it has probably cooled down with me having it open. But, it is <laughs> what it is. <laughs> believe me man I always figure out a way to jack up a waffle all right we're just gonna have to let it roll like this it's just gonna have to preheat and cook and do everything all in one whatever okay let's have another little drink 
All right, I'm gonna get it right next time. You know what? I'm not gonna make any more batter because there's no way in the world I'm gonna be able to eat all the pan all the waffles. I may be able. To I'm gonna get down these two, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get down these other two. And who knows? They may not even come out well. But I'm going to make waffles again. Maybe tomorrow, just because I want to get it right. I really do. I want to get it right. So anyway, let's dress up the ones that we have, okay? So this is my log cabin all-natural table syrup. This is the non-GMO one, all right? So y'all already know. I do a little naughty, and I do a little good, okay? Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Oh, I'm making a mess. The hole in it is so damn big. Can you see that? Look how big that is. Jeez. All right. Now, this is how I like my waffles. This is cherry pie filling. So I like to add this. I don't even know. I don't even know if I should take it out in the preheat or just let it keep going. I don't even know. But I tell you what, we're going to figure it out. Okay? So then we got that. And then I have um, I have my chocolate syrup. Again, this is another non-GMO chocolate syrup. Guess it would help if I opened it up. <laughs> I haven't made waffles or pancakes. So I had to buy some chocolate syrup. Right? So let's do that. Woo! Alright, and this is my Ready Whip. This is the non-dairy coconut. I've seen this at the store and I thought, well, why not? Because I usually always keep Ready Whip in the refrigerator, but I had never seen the coconut one. So, this is a new try. Alright, we just filled with new things today. Woo! Ho oh, ho! That's what I'm talking about. Then, what else do I have? I got a couple of almonds. And we drop a couple of almonds on there. And there it is. There it is. I got a mess because of my plate. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, the light is green, but I don't know if it's green because it's warm or if it's green because <laughs> the waffle is done. not done. It's not done. It, it, it's stuck to the top though, but it, it's not done. It's still a little light at the bottom. Alright, so let's go ahead and taste this one. Oh, it's so good. Minus the ice cream, it tastes just like a, a, a banana split or a sundae. If you wanted to, if you wanted to slice some bananas on it, you can do that. And even if you wanted to add ice cream to it, do that too. Whatever you want. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. The chocolate syrup is good. The maple syrup is good. Ooh, let's taste. Hold on. Mmm. I think this is that coconut. Hold on. Yeah. It's the coconut 
ready whip that's turning it up. This right here. Yes, get you some of this right here. Yeah, the coconut ready whip, y'all. That's banging. And then I used, um, I sprayed it with coconut spray. Let's, I don't even know. Let's see if this has a taste to it. Hold on. The camera time ran out. I really do need my own cameraman. <laughs> I do. I can't. I can't see. For one, I can't see me. Okay, so when I'm looking at the camera, there's nothing to show me what's going on. I can't see me at all. But most of all, I can't see the timer. My timer only runs on my camera for um, 25 minutes at a time. So if once I get a roll and I get excited, I'm doing this in real time, okay? And I forget about the timer and there is no light or no indicator or anything from this view it has a screen but it's on the, the back side of the camera and if I pull it up it doesn't come up high enough for me to be able to still see <laughs> so a lot of times with, when you see one of my videos and the ending is real dead like well all right then and I just end it's because I probably did a really good ending but the camera was off or the battery died. I did that with the um, the electric skillet. My ending was so good. And then when I went to the camera, it had been dead for like 10 minutes. It had went, it had been cut off. I was so salty. There's um there's an energy that I have when I do these videos and it's this is authentic. So when I'm smiling and laughing, this is real. This is not just for the camera. This energy, like, I manifest this energy. Like, I really do feel this. The smiles, the laughs, the commentary, it's all sincere. It is. But when I go to check the camera, and the camera has died, ran out of time, I can't go back and redo that magic. You know what I mean? Like, whatever that enthusiasm was, it was in that moment. And it was missed. And sometimes I'm so defeated when that happens that I just don't even want to do a <laughs> video. I do the best I can just to wrap it up. But I'm mad at this point, you know? So that's what happened with this one. The waffle came out great. Look at how pretty that is. But you missed the excitement that I had when I first saw it. <laughs> but it came out beautiful look at that look at that it, it really did come out beautiful um, I still need to remember to preheat it um, but I really do like this waffle maker okay I really do I think the only thing that I, I wish it had was an on and off switch but I'm going to just unplug it because it's ready to make another waffle and I'm not going to make any more waffles. But um, I like it. I like it. I have my air fryer. Who knows? I may make some, uh, I, I do have some fresh chicken wings. I had chicken all day yesterday. It was great. Because <laughs> I bought a new seasoning. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And I waited for it to show up yesterday. Amazon dropped it off on my porch. It's the Frank's Red Hot Original Seasoning. So it's... The Frank's Red Hot. The, the, the hot sauce. They have a powdered seasoning. They have the, the Red Wings... The Red Hot Wings sauce too. I like this as well. Um... But I've seen this and I thought I'd give it a try. So I specifically had to go to the butcher yesterday to go buy wings <laughs> just so I could try out this seasoning. And I refused to buy. No. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Tuesday I went and bought um, some wings because I was waiting for my seasoning to show up. And, 
Yeah, I seasoned my wings with it. Um, and the wings were good. It's just I did not. Nothing jumped out. You know what I mean? Like I made it, but I didn't feel like, ooh, I can taste the Frank's Red Hot. No, I still ended up adding uh, hot sauce to it. You know, and that was what brought it to life. So maybe that's what I'll do with these last two waffles because once I finish this and drink this mimosa, I'm going to be full. If I don't um, stop, I'll end up going back to bed and I still have my whole self-care to do today. My whole self-care regiment. <laughs> Alright? But, later on if I get hungry, that may be what I'll do with those last two. It's just make me some chicken wings and some waffles. Because we're not going to throw those away. So, anywho, enough of that yammer. This is a very good. I'm very pleased with it. Um, I didn't mess it up. I know I tried to on multiple, <laughs> multiple occasions. I tried to put myself in situations to jack this up. And the waffle iron did not allow me to do it. So, I will say, uh, elect home. Yeah. E L E C H O M E S. Elect Holmes. I like this. I really do. I I like it. So I did not mess up the waffles. And who knows, I may make waffles more often now because I have a waffle iron that's not trying to fight with me. See, I told y'all at the beginning that it was the waffle irons <laughs> that was giving me a hard time before. This waffle iron refused to let me fail. How about that? I got a team player over here. I may not even put her back in the box. I may find her a spot over in that corner and let her stand proud because she did a good job. And I may eat waffles more often now just because of that. So that's all I have to say now. Um, I will, I will try to put the link to this on the YouTube channel if I can't do it go over to Facebook and look up Let's Cook at Home and uh, subscribe there follow me there and that's where I'll have it posted at okay so all is well uh, is <laughs> it's after 11 o'clock so I've been at this for about an hour that's not bad for a video it's not bad sometimes it takes longer than that um, to even do a 20-30 minute video. It just depends on what you're cooking. So anyway, 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 I'm going to finish my waffle. I'm going to finish my mimosa and I'm going to move on with my self-care day. Thank you all for coming to my channel. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, I would ask you to suggest me to your friends, share the video because by December, I really would like a thousand subscribers. You know, I never really cared about that before. I just did the videos just because uh, I wanted to leave my children something that when I leave this world, they could go back and see my videos. Um, I think that's what I miss most about my grandmother is not being able to be in the kitchen with her while she cooked. You know, she never let me help. But she let me stay in the kitchen, though, and I would talk just like I'm running my mouth right now. <laughs> I would talk her to damn death, and she was so quiet, and she was really sweet, and she was very patient with me, and she would just let me yammer on, but she never let me help. But I paid attention to everything that she did, and to this day, I still remember um, recipes and things that she did. So it's very important um, that you let your children see you do what you do. They may look like they're not paying attention, um, but the mind is always recording. Okay? So, anyway, I am going to finish this, and I thank you all. Share me. I want to get that, get me a, a thousand subscribers now. I think I'm at 800, 801. I don't know, but one of my friends at work she said that she was my 800th subscriber, and I was very pleased with that. So, anyway, that's it. That's it. Take care of yourself, and get you a waffle maker, <laughs> and 
and make this hook up right here because it really is good. And make sure you get you some champagne and some pineapple juice instead of orange juice, okay? So these are the Lyric Originals mimosas, all right? So that's it. Take care of yourself, everybody, all right? And thank you again for coming to my channel. Keep the Lyric in your heart. I'll see you next time.